We are going to be eating chocolate chip cookies today. They are healthy and super, super easy to make. And what I like about this recipe is that the ingredients can be substituted based on what you have available and also on your preference. So today we're going to be using a brown box, any brand, any flavor is fine. We're also going to be using a half a cup of flour. I am using almond flour because it is high in protein and it is also gluten free. The oil that I'm using today is coconut oil. I have four tablespoons. If you don't have coconut oil, if you don't like coconut oil, you can use any type. I prefer you actually um, opt for safflower or canola oil, which is a lot healthier. Black seed, I'm using one tablespoon and that will be, this is what it's gonna look like once I actually add two and a half tablespoons of liquid. I have used vanilla, one tablespoon of uh, vanilla, along with one and a half tablespoons of coffee to substitute one egg. Flax seed is rich in fiber. It is also rich in omega-3. It also has a properties called lignin, which is a fiber that will help, may help in um, cholesterol, your blood pressure, and of course your digestive system. So this is what the flaxseed, a ground flaxseed looks like. Again, if you don't wanna use flaxseed, you can use one egg. The chia seeds are high in iron and they are also rich in calcium, also with omega-3s. You can use this inside your batter or you can actually use it as a topping, which you'll see later on as we uh, continue uh, the, the cooking uh, show. We also have nuts. These, again, they're walnuts. If you are going to use peanuts, please make sure that people have no allergies, but you can use any type of nut that you choose. It could be walnut, it could be pecan, it could be pistachios. We have our chocolate chip morsels along with the sprinkles. The milk that I'm using is the soy milk uh, almond flavor. Again, it really combines very, very well. It complements the, 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 the flour that you're using and it just brings in the flavor a lot more together. Um, you can use any other type of milk. You can use almond milk, you can use um, oatmeal milk, you can use regular milk. If you are going to use regular milk, I do suggest that you use 1% or fat-free. The 2% and regular, they're about the same and they're extremely high in fat and high in calories. Anyone with heart disease and heart condition wants to decrease their um, fat consumption and you can do so by using 1% or skim milk. Uh, you have, you see here my coffee. Again, these are just additives that you can add into the batter as you're making your cookie mix. All of these can be added together inside the batter or you can actually use it as a topping. So we're gonna go ahead and begin making our batter. Very simple, very easy. You wanna make sure that you preheat your oven to 350 degrees um, uh, bake, okay? And before I begin, I always like to begin on clean surface. Make sure that your surface is clean, but I also like to use parchment paper here. Cleanliness is key. And of course, you wanna make sure you're using your gloves. Your gloves will, number one, protect your hands very important and also of course for sanitary reasons so i'm going to go ahead today and use the box that it seems like all my she fit crew like that flavor we're using today the dark chocolate fudge i'm going to go ahead and mix that into my bowl my she fit crew here natalie Mian, yoli carla yari they're all here today so give them a shout out so i'm going to go ahead and have my bowl here in the center so you can see what I'm doing. I'm also adding my almond flour. I'm gonna put that in the center here and mix it all together, stir it. And then if you wanna add your dry ingredients, you may do so. If you wanna add a little bit of the chia seed, your kids will never know that this is inside. This is one tablespoon. You don't have to add it all if you don't want to. I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit inside of it. Again, to add a little bit of fiber iron to your cookies. Now. Here is where I have my coconut milk. I'm gonna put that in the center of the bowl. I'm also gonna use, instead of my eggs, I'm using my flaxseed, one tablespoon to two and a half, ta one tablespoon of flaxseed to two and a half tablespoons of liquid. I'm using um, vanilla along with coffee, my favorite. Put that in the center as well. And then you're going to stir that up together and then a little bit at a time, you're going to add your milk. You're gonna keep stirring and stirring and just kind of till it all comes in together. And it's gonna come out like a little bit of a hard dough. You don't have to add the whole entire uh, half a cup of milk, but if you want to make it a little bit easier to stir, you can do so. You put that on the side. You're gonna take your spatula 
and you're gonna keep stirring. You don't wanna over stir. You wanna kind of fold the ingredients together, let the flavors marry. You're gonna keep mixing and mixing. And if you don't feel like over mixing it, you can actually knead it with your hand. But I'd rather use the spatula for now. So if you have any questions based on the um, ingredients that we're using, please feel free to ask the questions. So we're just gonna keep mixing and mixing and mixing. And they really don't take long to cook. It takes about eight to 10 minutes based on how soft you like your cookies. So here it is, the Dix is already done, simple. So now, your ingredients that you choose to use can be either incorporated in the batter or you can actually add it on top. So you're gonna take your cookie sheet, which I have already prepared, parchment paper. You can spray it a little bit with uh, butter flavor if you want, butter spray if you want. You don't have to. Uh, you're gonna go ahead, I like to portion out, control my um, food, so that way we know how much exactly we're taking in. <clears throat> this is one tablespoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one tablespoon like this, and you're gonna make it into a ball, <clears throat> like so. And you're just gonna go ahead and put it in your... So here I have my sprinkles, like so. I'm gonna make a couple so you guys get an idea of what we're doing. Now, I think I overused the liquid, but so it's really based on you how much you like your cookies to be soft. Now, you can use the walnuts if you want, like so. Okay, I'm gonna make a couple of those. My girls, do you have any questions? <laughs> you guys are quiet over there. One okay. question, the dough, should you put it in the refrigerator for a certain amount of time or no? Not really, not really. Now mine, I added a little bit too much, so I think that you may want to use less than a half a cup of milk, um, but not really. I usually make it and I don't even put it in the fridge. Um, chocolate, of course, everybody likes chocolate, so we're going to be adding a little bit of chocolate. Again, all the ingredients that we're using today, you can use it inside your batter or you can use it as a topping. So. These are the cookies that I've made so far, and they look like this. So you can even do, I did one with chia seed. Just go ahead and, you can even do it with coffee if you want. Make sure that you keep a little bit of distance. And once it's set and you're done, another one with flax seed. Now I'm gonna do one that's gonna combine everything. Flax seed, chocolate morsels, mm -hmm. and sprinkles. And I'm gonna put that in the center. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of walnuts. I have another question. Please go ahead. Um, instead of your whole wheat flour, can you use regular flour even though you're using uh, the now? I didn't use whole wheat flour, I use almond flour. Almond flour. If you are gonna use whole wheat flour, you can, but you would have to decrease the, the amount. In this recipe, I used a half a cup. You may wanna use a half a cup plus maybe a tablespoon because the whole wheat tends to uh, add a little bit more texture and it's gonna make it a lot thicker and a lot heavier and much more denser. And we want our cookies to be soft, okay? So the cookies look like this after they're done and you're just gonna put it in the oven. Once your oven has been preheated to 350, you're gonna leave it eight to 10 minutes and you're just gonna wait. You can do a little squatting. You can go back and watch um, Natalie do her bar class or watch Carla's class. I would do that. You have eight to 10 minutes. I would stand here in the kitchen and maybe you know do a stand up. You can do some jumping jacks. You can do planks. That's what I normally do. And then all of a sudden you come up with the cookies and they will look like something like this. So the cookies are made and they are ready to eat. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. so here are the cookies. Um, this is made with the walnuts. This is with the chia seed. These are made with the chocolate morsels. And this is made with the sprinkles. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed 
this um, recipe, it's so easy to make. You can make it with the children. You can add ingredients that your kids will not normally eat, um, but they won't know that they're in there. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back and tune with us. She Fitness Crew, we love you. We're here for you always. Take care and God bless. Please be safe and keep your distance. Bye.